Well, hasn't it not been a while? What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Poo Poo the Viking, back with an update. Can you believe that? With an update, we finally got something going on. We finally got a little bit more furniture and a little bit of more things that we did in the outside. So let's go and see. Oh, <laughs> see what? What? <laughs> I stepped on okay okay I just I accidentally just stepped on this cat there's been a cat that's been coming around here lately and just been chilling with us but he has a really bad habit when we're just casually walking he tends to come in in the front and we step on him by accident of course and that's what just happened right now we just named him Benjamin and we just started feeding him every day at maybe about 6 30 so he's been coming ever since so why not? I guess we got a, a cat, right? So let me show you our, our, our little progress we got going on. We have completed a walkway. This walkway, we just put some decorative rock, some landscaping stone. We put some uh, some stone, as you can see. We kind of just temporarily finished the front with some uh, cement stone. We put Mexican beach pebble on the sides, outer sides. And then we got, like uh, I believe that was starlight or star stardust gray for that small stone that you see on the on the middle of the 24 by 24 slab of block or stone um it came out pretty well it's sturdy we had we had been working on this project for a little bit and we needed it to rain really bad for it can we can actually see if we uh did it right and so far we had a couple of tornadoes here lately thank goodness we're safe it was actually around town, maybe a few miles down, but we're safe and everybody else is safe. All the families and everybody, everybody that I personally know was safe, but it was a pretty bad storm. But yeah, I needed I needed a good day to actually have uh, heavy rain to see if our, our foundation, where we packed that dirt really well, if it worked or not, and it did. It, hold up, it held up really well. And it's really solid, it hasn't moved its place and it looks good it's gray it's gray and that darker gray of that middle stone really pops out i really like the ending result and then we did the same thing over here as you can see we have our, our garden hose rolled up in this uh caddy we did the same kind of uh design just like we did in the front and uh we just made the sides a little bit smaller but for the most part the outside kind of stays the same uh that project actually took a while to do uh it was a nice a thousand maybe a thousand twelve hundred dollars right just right there and we did all the work so <laughs> I, I was a uh, it was kind of crucial in my pocket but we're, we're we're still in good standing let's go on the inside we do got a lot of things in the inside a lot of things in the inside let's check it out yeah all right so here we are it's starting to look like more of a house look at Bobby over there we got our couch our small is this a sectional kind of cap is this what you call these l shape sofas couch whatever you want to call it it is gray of course a little nice dark gray our model over here is 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 actually doing what you're supposed to do you see you just play on the phone you play on the phone in the living room and that's all you do that's how you use the couch we also got the carpet here uh this one in particular it was a 10 by 7 foot carpet i guess that's like a standard kind of thing uh for these carpets it was one of the biggest ones that we could find for us and it works perfectly it matches the colors we're going on we got the dark sofa light floor and then the pillows just, just pop out while we found the pillows that's the sofa guys we finally got that it it actually made things a lot quieter in the room here that's a plus especially with that carpet it has made it really quiet and also what else what we got we got some shelving kind of like our bookcase kind of deal here as you can see it's kind of like all offset in a way white some dark gray and some light gray cubbies these are from ikea as well uh, i'll put the description in uh, i'll put the things in the description for you can check them out if you're interested in something like that and this couch as well and the carpet if i can find it online here in this office room we have the kind of like the same cubby kind of deal we just have the plushes uh, bobby put the plushes on there they used to just be placed right there in like some kind of decorative fashion uh it did it did come out really well it actually gives it more like a it feels like more of a room instead of an empty space now like it's just now starting to feel like hey 
people actually live here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, what else? Oh, I wanna show you something else. Something that, if you saw the things we hate video, one of the things that I particularly hated was the seats. The seats, I hated the seats. That was my main deal. The, 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 the cheapo seat they put on, our builder put on, I just didn't like it. It would just tip over and it would flex. So, we got some new seats. Yes, I do sit on here. <laughs> I do sit on here and there. Look at that. Slow closing seats and they're so comfortable. And these are wood. These are wooden. That's not, there's not plastic, so they don't flex. And they easy close. I didn't know. I did not know those existed. Trust me. I only knew until I went to the store and I was like, what? They got some slow close ones. That's not a bad idea. You know, my main thing about the other ones was because they were slam. They would come down and they didn't have any kind of weight to them. So they just would just fall because they're plastic. And turn on this light. Here in the in the utility room, we, we don't really got much going on here. Uh, I don't know if I showed this carpet, but this carpet was here last time on the update video. But we still get this looks like the utility room, obviously. So and nothing nothing core dandy there. But uh, I want to show you Bobby's work. Uh, <laughs> Bobby one time was messing with this thing, and one of the paint flicked off. It, it it flew off, I guess because because the painters didn't paint them right. But what Bobby did, she went through the extra pain and suffering to take off the paint. And now she had left them straight white. And I and I think it looks better like that. Doesn't it look better like that? Give props to Bobby. Give props to Bobby. Look at her. Pro right here. Pro right there. So yeah, these look good. It, it, it gives the contrast with the black door and all of a sudden white trim for the glass. It looks good. And then Bobby, see Bobby has been busy. I'm telling you, Bobby's been busy. There was another thing that she did not like. Check it out. She redid all this, the caulking or the seal for the, uh, for the countertops. The guys that went in here and tried to do this, uh, they left it all splotchy, all bumpy. Not a really good job. And that bothered the mess out of Bobby and she took it off, looked up some videos, got some tools, got it done. Perfect 90 degree angles on here. Look at that. It's so shiny, so beautiful. So Bobby has been, uh, has been on the works. And, and not only that, again, Bobby, <laughs> she, With enough complaining, which is good, she got these replaced. Damn, she got these replaced, look at that. These are brand new. She got the glass replaced because remember, we had an issue, if you if you saw the, the Things We Hate video, the issue was that this, this glass would leak. When we had a heavy rainstorm one day, the, the, the water will seep right through this glass because when they were building these doors, found out they had the wrong doors. They took them apart, swapped the glasses from each doors, but the seal was broken. And that seal was really essential when it rained. I guess they weren't thinking about it. So Bobby complained about it. She called people, she called managers, she called builders, and she's like, we need to get these replaced. And she won the case. And now they're ordering the other one for the other side because they're they're missing the uh, inserts for the the screws. So Bobby again came came in clutch. There, that's why she's just chilling in her couch. She's like, my job is done, bro. My job is done. Is your job done? No. No, we still got a lot of things to fix. A lot of things to do. A lot of things to fix. And uh, one of the things that we need to get fixing, and it'll probably be a video then. Maybe, as you see this uh, outer goop. I don't know if you can see that. There's some goopy goop goop sealer right there. It's just just splotching now. We're gonna fix that. We're gonna fix that. We're gonna fix the 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 paint that's sticking out from the edges. It doesn't have a nice, beautiful straight line. We're gonna fix that too. 
trust me we're fixing a lot of stuff um so far so good uh everything's doing everything's going according to plan the next big thing for this uh space is going to be a security system which there are probably there's not going to be a video about that but there's going to be a security system in this house and we're going to put a tv right there because that's the spot uh what else I think those are the two things that come into my mind right now that we I've been researching. I've been looking at TVs. What do you think? QLED or OLED? I want to see. I want to see your input. Help me out. Help a brother out. QLED, OLED. I mean, those things cost maybe up to two grand. Uh, a nice, decent one. You can get a good, decent one maybe like for fifteen hundred and higher. Uh, I don't want to go too expensive in the kind of like in the 2000s range i kind of don't want to step in that realm but if i have to and you tell me that it's worth it we'll see we'll see what we got but so far so good um let's go to the top and see what we got i'm pretty sure we don't got nothing on top i just want to show you that <laughs> it's the same thing it is the same thing another thing now that i i i'm glad i came up here and actually made me remember this the next another thing that i've been thinking about that's going to be in the next uh purchase for this house is uh basically the nightstands and and replacing anything that has sterilite because <laughs> we, we this 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 is what this are this is the sterilite cubby system for offices and stuff we're getting uh we're gonna get rid of all that stuff and get actual good furniture that's not plastic uh that's it's not that we have to or we want to right now is that I think it's time. I think it's time to get those replaced and uh, just to get rid of that stuff because it doesn't look, that doesn't look like a home feature right here. Come on, man. Yeah. But it's, do, it's doing the job and it's not, a, it's not a thing of rush. So we'll get that done. Another thing is I'm going to make some kind of a upstairs closet area up there. It's going to be, so I'm going to try to be a handyman and make some walls there i bought some wood just now and we're gonna give that a shot hopefully that turns out good <laughs> so it's kind of like an attic if you want to say it's just gonna be a small attic bobby wants her to put her maybe christmas and halloween stuff halloween's around the corner by the way and uh christmas is coming up so she's gonna be able to do that and put put any of her seasonal stuff or whatever she wants to put up there at a perfect spot at a good location i think so that that will definitely work and that's why i designed it like that and that's there's a plug up there and you know if we couldn't want to put some lighting in there we can there's a plug up there so here in the master bathroom let me close this we don't have any changes of course except for the toilet seat the toilet seat so I'm really happy for the toilet seats. <laughs> I'm really happy for the toilet seats. That's like a, that is that is like a main feature of mine, the toilet seats. <laughs> but yes, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, I gave you some ideas. Uh, I see a lot of the comments. People uh, have been really appreciative. Have been uh, really uh, giving me some good feedback about the videos. I really appreciate every one of y'all that have some did the effort to subscribe and like some of my videos. If you like some of the videos, it actually pushes it up to the YouTube algorithm and it gets recommended for other viewers to find this channel, get the same ideas, and uh, you know, revolutionize the housing industry. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you guys for watching. Comment, subscribe, do whatever you wanna do. See you on the next one.